dear. Now you're wax, that stuff's golden. Gums up the works. I can't make you my slave. This is nothing like Dishonored. Nothing. Ugh. Dishonored is a horrible game. Hated that game. Hated it. Die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn off the helmet. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. the transformer at the top of the device or the whole thing will overheat. Okay, that should stop it from overheating. There. Ray. Everything's fixed. Yeah, Ray. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. I hated this honor. It's a horrible game to me. I heard they're gonna make a If I did everything too. correctly, that? all that's left should be pulling the lever at the front of the device. I can't spell. <laughs> okay. First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure must be up that lift. Perfect. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. If 
I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paper. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Nothing but trouble that way. Best to head straight back to Rapture. I wanna go. Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. Such a wonder something as simple. <laughs> Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not in your hair, stupid. Think Hodge's cigarette lamp. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where is his lab? Closed off past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find it. Should have seen that one coming. Box Populi. We must have arrived right in the middle of this. Other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. fix a machine to get part of Rapture back up to this surface area.
exploiters. Those who had all will have nothing. Those who idled shall talk. I go. state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge... What's that thing you just picked up? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. A giant clock? Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. <laughs> 